me, friends, frenemies, and friendsters. My face again, old buddy Ben with that hashtag show.com. Once again, brought to you by all the fine folks over at Net Vodka, reminding you to please drink responsibly, as well as everyone over at Toink.com. Toink.com, it's Toink.com. For today's visual effects interview, I sat down with the Molecule Visual Effects in New York's very own Tamina Begg, who is the VFX supervisor on Amazon's Modern Love. Now I know what you're thinking. Modern Love, that doesn't seem like the type of show where they would have extensive visual effects, but you'd be WRONG! Apparently, there's tons of visual effects in this show, and you can learn all about it here in this interview that I did with Tamina. Take a look. With a show like Modern Love, which mm -hmm. you're working on now, you don't that doesn't immediately jump into your mind as visual effects, you know. No, in the not way at all. That, you know, Defenders <laughs> or Iron Fist or something like that uh, right, right. would immediately jump in. So that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So tell me, tell me a little bit about what, 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 what visual effects does Modern Love need or have, or what do you, what do you do, what do you work on? Well, I mean, we were surprised too. E even everybody was surprised. It was, you know, it was one of those shows where season one didn't have a lot of visual effects. It was mostly just TV screen burn-ins and phone burn-ins, like nothing crazy, a couple graphics here and there. Um, but, uh, you know, when we got into season two, at first we thought, okay, it's fine. You know, it'll be the same thing. Um, but as we started getting the scripts in for the the other episodes um, and some of the locations uh, were coming up as, well, actually, let me back up for a second. <laughs> because of COVID, we were not shooting in New York City. Right. So we were shooting upstate, you know, had to have the crew away from everybody and just sort of a little bit more isolated. So we did end up having to do a lot more uh, Albany and Schenectady for New York City. So that was one thing, you know, um, that kept popping up in like later episodes, especially episode, oh, the numbers are different. Um, I don't know what episode it is. Anyways, there's an episode where there's a rooftop view of Queens and obviously we couldn't get that. So, um, you know, we had to shoot that all on green screen. So that was, that was an obvious one. And then um, episode six came along, which is, uh, in the waiting room of estranged spouses. That one, I didn't expect, the, the script was very, very creative. <laughs> um, it's very imaginative. And there's just this particular love story where this, this guy just has these daydreams that are just extremely creative. And um, one of them happens to be him um, in a video game. And another one is him um, throwing food items in a grocery store that explode like grenades. So there was a couple of just really cool dream-like sequences that ended up becoming huge visual effects for us. Um, and th those were really the biggest ones, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, I think COVID did kind of affect how much visual effects were in shows. I mean, one of the things that we were talking about last year too is you know, how much can we do with crowds and, you know, because we don't want to have as many background actors anymore. And what about mask removal, which is, you know, scary, a scary thought for us to have to do. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So there were, there were a lot of things coming up, but those, those ended up being the video game sequence and the, uh, the rooftop sequences mm -hmm. uh, ended up being the biggest I, I hadn't even thought of that. If, if you're having people on set and you're doing, you know, if people are wearing masks, yeah, you know, I guess you would just assume, oh, they take them off before they start the shot, but maybe not. And then that would be the digital artist's yeah. job. To... In, initially, that was, there were a lot of questions around that, but um, mask removal on a per, like a principal actor's face is pretty much a CG face replacement. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just, it's just not feasible for most productions. Um, so we would end up periodically getting random people in the deep background with masks on. Um, and also there were a lot of questions around how many background actors can we have in one space, maskless, you know, what's safe, especially in September. I mean, you know, back then it was like, how can we keep people safe? 
Right. Um, that was the most important thing. So what, usually what we ended up doing, instead of having people with their masks on and doing mask removal, we would just have less people and we would tile them. So we would take a big group of people or, you know, a smaller group of people, shoot them in one position then shoot them in another position and shoot them in another position and then just stitch all of those shots together just to make it look like there were more people. And that way we just didn't have to have as many right. on set. What, what's your role on set? Do you, you show up on set, I assume, because you already mentioned mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. Working on Modern Love, what are you doing in the physical space? In the physical space, you know, once I'm on set, ideally, everything should have been prepped and planned for, and we all know what we're going to do, and we're in execution mode. Um, I would say the bigger amount of work, in a way, come or or the the brain power comes in prep um and that's when we get the scripts we break down the scripts we talk with the post producers we chat with the dps and directors find out what they want um and we figure out with them what's going to be the best way to shoot it to make it look great and then next comes uh what way can we shoot it to bring the cost down <laughs> <laughs> that's usually <laughs> the order of operations and so but basically we're trying to figure out like what's the happy medium you know what how can we shoot it to make it look good and come within budget and we make that plan and once i get on set i'm just there to make sure that the plan goes you know according to what we discussed and usually when i'm on set i mean if there's a green screen i'll be the person you know putting tracking markers up there uh, making sure we can actually capture the motion of the camera, mm -hmm. making sure I get all of the lens data and the heights and the tilts, if there's anything CG going on in there. Um, a lot of the times I'll just see something that might not work and I'll either ask for like, you know, a slight reframe or, you know, see what we can do to uh, make a shot a little bit more uh, VFX friendly. And then after that, the footage is in the can, you go back to Molecule, and yep. then the process starts, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, what, uh, what is that like? Do you have a team of people? Is it constantly a revolving door? Do you have a core group that you work with? Um, it's, it's like a, we have, I think we have something like 40 artists, and, but obviously we expand and contract with freelancers. Um, so we do have like core staff and then we have a revolving door of freelancers and we have some great freelancers that we're always just trying to keep, you know, just kind of keep them in with us. So, um, yeah, I mean, once we get back in house, it's just a matter of, you know, picking your team and, and working with who you can work with, trying to, trying to get everybody on board. What have been some of your favorite sequences in Modern Love to work on? I mean, probably the video game sequence. Yeah, I was we basically say. Had, we just had it was cool. <laughs> it was just a lot of fun. Are you a video <laughs> game fan? I yeah, but, I mean, I haven't really played. I mean, I'm dating myself, but I haven't really played a video game since Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's been a while. Diablo, Diablo still holds up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just really fun. So um, no, I mean, what I liked about this is that it was just really creative. Um, and, you know, we got to really work closely with the director and figure out what kind of forest, you know, he wanted to be in. And that, cause that was the, the premise of the video game is that they're in this, you know, this beautiful uh, maple forest um, having this sort of epic fight. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was neat. I mean, I got to kind of really design the whole thing and, um, build it out so yeah it was it was a lot of fun now for, for that sure. if you're in the middle of a maple forest are you doing a lot of the trees did they film on location in a forest are you oh no half half? we we shot 100 percent on green screen oh wow it is a full full cg forest the only thing that's real in there is the mulch on the ground <laughs> that is it it was a if you see it before we'll have to send you a before and after but um, if you look at the actual original shot, it was like a uh, 180 green screen with a green screen ground. And, you know, originally our department was going to build more. They were going to build more of a set on the green screen, but, you know, because of a positive 
test and contact tracing, whether they had it or not, they, they couldn't sell. Uh, our department just got knocked out. Mm -hmm. So we just had mulch. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. yeah. And yeah, the whole thing, the whole shebang is all CG trees. Are there any other projects that are coming up for you that you can talk about? Um, anything that you're excited about working on in the future or is everything Modern Love right now? Um, you know, Modern Love actually was kind of, we, we wrapped it up in June. Okay. And so I can say what I'm working on. I can't say too much about the shows. Totally. But understand. I am I am working on the um, the new Sex in the City show. Okay. We're shooting that now in New York, and I'm also working on um, a new Issa Rae show called Rap Shit, um, and that's shooting in Miami, which is where I am now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I've got two productions going on at the same time in oh, two wow. different cities. Oh wow. Fun. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, that is exciting. Issa Rae is is really awesome. So yeah, I, I, she's I, super I, cool. I love watching anything that she's in. So she's um, cool, and I'm really excited about this show. I mean, I'm this show for the VFX. It's just you know, it is what it is. But for I'm actually excited for the music. Nice. They have some cool cool rappers like writing the lyrics for stuff and i'm just like oh wow this is really awesome nice. i'm excited for it. thank you so much for taking the time you are a delight and no uh maybe we'll talk about uh, uh Issa's new show or sex in the city or something coming up yeah yeah i mean Issa's new show is going to be cool um conceptually it's unique i guess All and right. you'll see when, <laughs> when it comes out cool we've been uh, working through it Tamina was super cool, super rad, loved talking to her. And now I want to go watch the show Modern Love because I had no idea that there were those kinds of visual effects in that show. Also excited for all the stuff that she's got coming up. Modern Love is available, two seasons of it, on Amazon right now. Go watch it. Once again, my name is Ben Cleaver. This is that hashtag show.com. And remember, folks, the reason I'm drinking out of this red cup is because whenever Ben Cleaver shows up, it's always a party. Yeah!